Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore brands cast member Nene Leakes marriage a joke as she speaks out about Nene's alleged affair with family friend Rodney White. In an interview with the Daily Mail, she also says she's concerned about her general well-being. Nene and Kenya's relationship has always been a rocky one, so it's no surprise she was quick to offer her thoughts on the revelation that both Nene and Greg have side pieces in their marriage. In an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail, 49-year-old Kenya Moore branded Nene a hypocrite for offering her marriage advice when she split from her husband Mark during the last season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kenya says she already knew about Nene's affairs, which is why she was reluctant to hear her advice. Kenya pleaded that the her cast member gets help before attempted to speak to her again. Multiple outlets have reported Nene's affair with Rodney, 54, a stockpile director. Stating that 53-year-old Nene cheated on her 65-year-old husband Greg Leakes multiple times. On the subject, Kenya said. I believe that her marriage is a joke. For her to try and give me advice on a successful marriage when her own is a sham, I believe she's a big hypocrite because she's already divorced Greg and she's stated that, in various interviews, that she does what she wants to do. So to me that is being open about having extramarital affairs and living her life as though she is single Kenya added. Nene married her husband Greg for the first time in 1997. They divorced in 2010 on season 3 of the show. They reunited three years later. Nene has talked about her and Greg having an open marriage but claimed this was not something she was keen on. Nene was openly critical about Kenya's marriage to Mark Daly, 49. Even branded it as fake. She was also very quick to relish in the news of their separation last September. The two have since reconciled and are working on their marriage with the help of a marriage counselor. The couple, however, are quarantining apart, with Mark living in New York and Kenya and their daughter in Atlanta. On the show, Kenya expressed concerns over Mark's inappropriate communications with other women. She expressed to Cynthia Bailey and Candy Burris that she feels she ignored some red flags before she married the businessman. In the interview, Kenya continued to drag Nene, saying, I think if she's going to have affairs she doesn't need to be married. If she wants to be with someone else, then you should get divorced and be with someone else. I got married to not cheat on my husband, I got married because I wanted to be a faithful wife, and I have been a very faithful wife, and committed and loving and kind. I may not always have that reciprocated, but that is what I am held to, and that is the standard that God has set for us. A response from a rep of Nini's told the Daily Mail publication. It's quite disturbing that especially during this time of so much pain that once again we have to deal with a disgruntled housewife trying to capitalize on Nene's name and personal life for the sake of publicity. Kenya stated herself that she and Nene have not been on speaking terms for almost two years now. So it makes no sense for her to speak with such familiarity about Nene's personal life. And to drag her decades-long marriage, family, and relationship through the mud, on a consistent basis, to insinuate anything about my client's character, is sad, confusing, and a despicable PR tactic that we have no interest in contributing to. We encourage Kenya to focus on her own marriage, and we wish her well. Talking about her own marriage, Kenja said. It's difficult to get over things in the past, and I think that's what counseling is for, so you don't repeat mistakes, and you get to the root of why they happened, to begin with. So, I am just really looking forward to the healing, because I think when people mistreat you, they're really hurt people on the inside, so I am looking forward to healing that hurt and that pain that we both experienced during our marriage. Kenya is hopeful for another child with Mark if they can sort their issues out. She said. I am not a spring chicken, but neither was I when I had Brooklyn, and I am just trying to figure out with another child, how would I manage? She added. If Mark and I do continue to be separated, how would I manage, and how would I manage if we were together, it's more than just what my heart wants, I have to think of everything. When asked the question, who was her least favorite housewife, Kenya responded. I think that goes without saying. Anytime someone tries to spit at you, and hurl insults at you, and tries to kick you, while you're down at your lowest point at your life, I think that goes without saying. Well come on, what else was they expecting her to say?